So this is my first attempt at a daily vlog and it's incredibly sporadic and I didn't even say the day of the week. It didn't even cover every day because I kind of, the idea occurred to me a little late. But so what? Excuse the shaky camera because I wasn't really thinking enough about that and the random talking about books in the middle. I probably shouldn't have that in there, but uh, I did. So yeah. You know how great it is to be a last semester college student? Does that answer your question? But let me tell you, it is rough. When you have even minor whiplash, as I do, from climbing outside, I am sorry for anyone who has major whiplash because I can't imagine how it, could, how it would ever go away. And then you're sitting here, for me, doing homework late at night because for some reason 9.45 feels like 2 a.m. today and you've got a heating pad on your neck because sitting at your desk just, it hurts. It hurts here. I'm watching Nerd Fighters. Oh, oh, you saw it. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's Hank. There's Hank. Oh, there's Hank. Oh, there's Hank. That's my break right now. That's how I'm getting through this. One more month. One more month. So I just had my last biochem seminar of undergraduate possibly ever. I don't know. I have weird feelings about it. Kind of bittersweet. Like, they can drool on, drool on, whatever, drool. You probably drool because a lot of people fall asleep in them. It tells you anything. But at the same time, like I've been a scientist for so long, it feels like just a little part of me is dying. I don't know what to do. But I'm gonna go climb now and just like not think about it or school for a couple hours. Remember, it's drone on. Do you ever just want to sleep for like 1200 hours? I do. But I decided since uh, it's been a long day that I'm gonna talk about books because it's rainy and you know when it rains you just want to curl up with a good book. I'm sort of doing that by telling you about books. I'll probably read here soon, but who knows I have schoolwork, so maybe not. I am reading The Red Pyramid, which I said I was going to read. Oh, a few weeks ago now for spring break. It sort of happened. It didn't really start during spring break. I've only been reading it for like the past week. It's good. It's not living up to Magnus Chase, but my Egyptology nerd is still happy. And this is by Rick Riordan. It's Kane Chronicles. But uh, over spring break, while I was supposed to be, you know, like reading that book, I ended up reading this book recommended to me by an old English teacher. I trust his judgment, plus there's a really big, like, popularity spree with the book right now. It's 112263 by Stephen King, which I also am not normally the hugest fan of Stephen King. He Primarily because I'm not really a big horror person, but this book is suspense. It's based on the concept of traveling back in time to the same date no matter what. Where only two minutes has passed in the real world no matter when you come back. And they use this concept to say, hey, maybe if we, like, save JFK, then we can, like, save the hundreds or millions of billions of people that die in Vietnam and other conflicts and things like that. It's really thick. I'm halfway through. Uh, it is, like, 900 pages. And it's not like Harry Potter 900 pages. It's, like, a dense... 900 pages. I had a workout from holding that book. I'm really tempted to reread Uglies next, but I told myself I was gonna start, um, what's the first one called? My bookshelf to my bookshelf. Do, 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 do. Uh -huh. I told myself I was going to start this. Wait, how do I? This is a struggle. This. The uh, Abhors and Chronicles, I'm, this is three of the, this is the three books, and then there's a prequel or something? I don't know, called Clariel. And the first one I believe is called Sabriel? Eh. Yeah, first one's called Sabriel. And this was give, lent to me a long time ago. I have yet to read it like the terrible person that I am. But I'm going to. That's what I told myself I'd read next. Well, I've been tired this week. I've really been tired. I'm really struggling to stay awake at the moment. I'm nodding off. I might have just been laying down between two benches. You know, whatever it takes. It's a Friday afternoon. <laughs> Help me. Today's the day after April Fool's when you know all the bad things happen and you can't trust anyone and your teacher comes in and tells you you're gonna have finals and then you don't. That actually happened and she made it really believable too and the entire class fell for it. So I wasn't exempt either. <laughs> Not proud of it. But, um, yeah, my weekend is made of studying this weekend. Hopefully it's one of my last weekends I ever have to do that. I'm just like sitting on the couch. I'm watching an anime. 
Somehow starting to slip into a German accent. Why not? I'm watching this anime though called Your Lion April because it got put on Netflix and it was said it was about a pianist and I like sort of play the piano and I just love classical music and it's basically a long glorified classical concert which is actually like it's really pretty for an anime the writing itself is good but the plot is just really slow and repetitive it's really pretty outside and I really just kind of want to be outside but at the same time I don't want to leave my apartment because I'm tired